tell you that I love you 100 times a day I feel good, I feel really good. I got the best tan of my life, I feel really refreshed. And the reason being is because Lee and I went on a vacation, I took some time off from work and we went to Phoenix or Scottsdale, Arizona. We flew into Phoenix. And I know some of you all who like keep tabs on the weather around the country are probably like, why on earth did you go to Phoenix? It was 117 degrees. <sighs> Regardless, we had a great time. We stayed at a resort specifically called Andaz Scottsdale, which is part of Hyatt Destinations. And we really just spent most of our time at the pool, getting drinks from the bar and eating carne asada fries. What's up everybody, Jossie here. And today's video is gonna be more of a lifestyle kind of video. Um, pretty chill, got some really dope B-roll from our trip later on in the video. So be sure to stay tuned because you're gonna love it, I promise. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps out with the algorithm a lot and it lets me know whether or not you all like this kind of content. I know that most of you all are non-subscribers, which is amazing because I wanna be able to grow my community and make sure that my YouTube videos are getting out to people who have no idea who I am. So if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe. I'm on a hunt for a 1990s Bulls championship vintage t-shirt and I finally picked one up in Arizona, albeit. But when it comes to a home office, everyone just thinks about the desk and the chair and maybe the monitor, but it's so much more than that. I live in a very open concept apartment with white walls everywhere. My recommendation, especially if you're working remote like myself, is to add some character to your desk setup pegboards that can be used for aesthetic purposes or functionality or really both. That's what mine is used for. And I also maybe even add some digital prints from a creator you really like, or maybe you just find them at Target or whatever, or Ikea, or maybe they're your own pictures that you decided to print. Our pegboard is not only aesthetically pleasing in my opinion, but it's also turned into this like functional shelving storage space that Really, it wasn't meant to be, but we end up putting a lot of our coffee table books on the pegboard to add some pop of color to the space and because we don't have a coffee table, along with some fake plants and storing some of my batteries for my Sony a7 III, along with other accessories. The Dyson Cyclone V10 Animal has been one of the best purchases I've ever made, like I'm serious, this is a great investment. I definitely don't recommend buying it for retail. I do recommend buying it off of a site like Macari or Facebook Marketplace or some or eBay, somewhere where you can get it, you know, secondhand from a reseller where the price is, you know, significantly less if you can. I use this thing all the time, especially when, you know, I spill or I drop some food on the floor or there's crumbs everywhere. It just cleans everything so much more effectively, especially if you have a large space that's open concept and you have hardwood floors and things get dusty a lot and you can see all the particles everywhere that drives you nuts. This is a great investment. I promise we're gonna get to some other um, home office favorites, but we gotta go to Arizona for a couple minutes. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Um, I think it's the 20th. No, there's no way it's the 20th. It's 16th? I think it's the 16th, yes. So it is about like six in the morning here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm actually staying at the Andaz Hotel, which is part of Hyatt's destination, hotel-like category, whatever you wanna call it, but this place is beautiful. And I feel extremely blessed to be able to go here and experience this and just, step away from work um at least from my regular job and do a little bit of content creation but i'm a hobbyist when it comes to video and photography so i don't really view this as a job my oh my a kiss and so i did So we made it to um, Red Rock Crossing here in Sedona, and uh, we're headed to a creek. This uh, really nice family is showing us the way to get the best views of the Cathedral Rock. 
Um, we might even be able to see a reflection of it in the river. When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my A kiss and so I did As you can see, we've made it to Cathedral Rock and I took the reflection video and picture over down there so shout out to that family that directed us here um, it was a really easy walk the drive here though drive here actually wasn't too bad there were a couple spots where we were pretty high up but it was a, a pretty chill drive and really beautiful coming down to Red Rock Loop actually Fellow EKG Electric Kettle has also been a favorite of mine. If you are a coffee or a tea lover, this is a great investment because you can heat up water extremely fast with the 1200 watt heating element. 60 minute hold mode that maintains your desired temperature. There's also a variable temperature control and because of its minimal design with a matte black finish that I decided to go with, it's really aesthetically pleasing. Most importantly, the gooseneck makes it really easy to do pour over coffee. 18 by 24 picture frames are what really make my desk stand out and also feel unique because all these pictures except one were taken by me. I love photography and what better way to display your art than printing it out and putting it into a frame and mounting it to your wall. The first picture is of the Manhattan Bridge overpass in Dumbo, Brooklyn, one of my absolute favorite locations and cities. I've always wanted to get a distractionless picture of the bridge and luckily I was able to snap one. The next picture is of a group of surfers in Manhattan Beach during a summer morning in September. What made this frame stand out is how beautiful the ocean and waves look from this viewpoint and I also thought the pink surfboard in the center of the frame made it pop. This last picture is from Kith, one of my favorite brands and this car reminds me of my childhood when my dad had a 1998 BMW 328i. Rest in peace Bruce the Beamer, you had a good run. Those of you all who have seen my previous desk setup videos, you'll notice something new sitting at the top of my monitor and it is the Logitech Stream Cam. Shout out to Logitech for sending this over to me. This has really taken my setup from a functionality standpoint to a whole nother level. I have so many, you know, Zoom meetings because I'm working remotely and it just feels really professional and good when you're able to broadcast yourself with really nice picture quality. All right, so that concludes this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're still here. Comment down below some of your favorite national parks or just places around the country, around the world that you like to visit or would like to visit sometime in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release new content. Man, I just feel extremely blessed. Sedona was incredible. The resort was incredible. This is one of my most favorite trips ever. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, have a blessed rest of your week and I will see you all soon. Peace. When I think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my A kiss and so I did oh.